Hello, welcome to my channel Educational World and today I am going to make a tutorial video about making a flappy bird. It consists of flapping bird and obstacle coming there and when it crosses the obstacle a score will be attained here. When I press play again, then it will again play the game. So, now I am going to start the tutorial here. First, I will make a folder and I will name the folder as Sprite folder. I will drag all my sprites. This sprite will be available to you in the download link below in the description of our video. Now I have dragged all the sprites in my game. Now again I will make a folder. The folder is for the animation. When I drag all the boards in a hierarchy like this, I want the animated flapping board. So I selected all the flapping board. Now I'll save it as flappy. In animation folder, two things are formed. This is controller, animation controller, and this is animation clip. Now I'll rename the game object as board. The size of this board is very big. I want to decrease the size of the board, so I'll select all the board's images or sprites. Then decrease the pixel per unit not decrease increase the pixel per unit increasing the pixel per unit will decrease the size of the images here this the body is decrease the size of the body is decrease here I'll place here now now I'll make a new folder for keeping the scripts so folder then scripts I'll make a new create a new C sharp script for controlling a board so I'll name it as board controller board script now I'll open it in Visual Studio I have a code editor as Visual Studio. Just select the board. Select the board, then add component. I'll add a, a rigid body there, rigid body 2D. Then again, I'll add the script, body script for controlling that board. Now, I'll take a rigid body of that board, a rigid body 2D RB. RB is equal to get component. Get component rigid body 2D. I'm taking the rigid body of the board for applying the force on it. I need the movement jumping movement of a board when I press the space button so if input that get key get key down space that means when I press the space key in my computer 
then rv dot add force zero point three f comma six oh no I need a new vector so new vector two I want to jump when I jump the movement will be in x axis and both y axis so in x axis 0 0.3 and in y axis 6 then force mode 2d dot impulse this force mode 2d dot impulse will display displace the board in both axis and y axis without the reference of the mass how heavy it is it will just display displace now this is the jumping effect in a board with a script now i want to follow this board with a camera so create another c sharp script to follow this board with the camera so this is this script will be a camera controller i'll open this script then this camera will not know about board so I'll first make it make a game object call as board and now always the position of the camera transform the position this is the camera of the position of a camera is equal to the new vector 3 the camera has the same position as the board in x axis so board dot transform dot position dot x comma the position of y will not follow the board in y axis so it will always be zero and there is some distance between the board and camera and z axis so board dot transform dot position dot z minus some value Now I will drag this script, camera script to the camera, some problem is here, first I will save here, control S, then again I will have dragged, now the camera is following the board here, camera is following the board. Now again, I am going to make obstacle first, I will place this obstacle here, I will place the obstacle there um, like this, the size is a bit big in breadth, so I will increase the length and decrease the breadth here. Now again down one obstacle I'll place I'll place there just below this creating some space between them mm. 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 now some space is created in between now I'll add a box collider in both both the obstacles upper and down box collider this collider will make the collision between the board and this obstacle I'll create a new game object here 
empty game object to place both the obstacle in a single place. I'll rename it as obstacle. Now I'll drag both upper and down obstacle there. Now a single game object is formed. That is obstacle. Now create folder. Prefab folder I have made and drag the game object from there. A prefab of obstacle is formed. And how much number of clone I need to instantiate in a game object I can instantiate now with that prefab. Now I will again open the body script here. Float time is equal to 3. I am going to instantiate the obstacle in every 3 seconds here. So, time is equal to time minus time dot delta time. If time is less than equal to 0, then instantiate game object g is equal to instantiate. I want to instantiate. A game object that obstacle instance I want to make different clone of that obstacle every three seconds so I'm going to write that code here so I'll I have placed time is equal to three now I'm going to make a new game object I have made obstacle prefab I'm going to instantiate that so game object G is equal to instantiate obstacle prefab and I want a position so comma new New vector then the position first I'll write here some values I have written 5 5 in both x and y axis and comma quadrillion dot identity. To know a thing about instantiate, other thing about instantiate, you can look my other videos. Now float instantiate position. I need the position for instantiating the obstacle prefab for for instantiating the obstacle the first position of instantiating is equal to 10 initial position x then i'll place here initial pose x here so that the obstacle will instantiate from that and in every instantiating the position will be shifted by some values so, initial position x is equal to initial position x plus some values here initial position x pose x. Now, look here, I'll play one of this space to jump. But look here, some error is there. Here the game object is not drag here. So obstacle. Now I'll drag the obstacle prefab here. Now the obstacle prefab will be formed. Look, the obstacle prefab is. Mm -hmm. We have crossed the obstacle prefab. Okay, obstacle prefab is formed there, but the body is not colliding with it. We'll do something for that. So, add component, 
then circle collider 2d I will use a circle collider 2D for the board. So mirror is here. Cancel it. Again add component. Then Circle Collider 2D, look here, Circle Collider 2D is applied here. Now I will decrease the size of Circle Collider here, so that it will fit our board. Now again I will look at the circle collider is fitted with the board. Now it must collide with our obstacle. I am playing the game here. Mm, it is jumping too high. I am pressing. So it is jumping too high. Now no. it has collided. Yes. It has collided with the game object. That is obstacle. Now time. I am making the time faster to get obstacle very fast and again decreasing the first position obstacle is again very far from us Obstacle is very far. And obstacle is Obstacle position is not maintained here. So, I will do an experiment for placing, for exact placing the obstacle. Then I have stopped again. Now, I will find the appropriate position in both in y axis. First, I will find the down one. This is the appropriate position. Now note the Y position. I will randomly generate in Y position. So, I'll use random dot range. Between this position and almost this position I need. So I'll place these two points as a random range for me. Now that obstacle will be inst instantiated in those two positions, between those two positions, only integer values are allowed. It. No. Mm. Put this obstacle up. Instantiated in appropriate places. Now 
the first position of instantiating a obstacle is very far so I am decreasing it I am decreasing that now I will play I'm doing some experiments of instantiating that obstacles. So that I'll get the appropriate result. This board is rotating. When it, when it is collided, The range of camera is small. I am making the range of the camera slightly bigger one so that I can see obstacle when it is approaching. And the board is rotating in y axis when it gets collided. So I am binding the rotation in z axis. Now, look here. I can see the obstacle very common easily. Now, when it get collided, it will not rotate also. Now, to remove the falling of the board, I'll place some something here, grass. I'll place it here. Now I will use a box collider. Box collider there. I'll look the size of the box collider, it is appropriate. Just fitting the grass. I'll place it inside the camera so when the camera moves it will also move look here both are moving the same values camera and the grass now I'll add a tag there obstacle to the grass and also to the obstacles I need a tag in both obstacles so upper also lower also add tag obstacle and add tag obstacle I haven't added tag in that grass so again add obstacle as it tag Now, my game will be finished when the board touches either grass or the obstacle. So, I want to write some codes there. Void on collision enter. This function is called when our game object is collided with other game object so void on collision inter parameter collider 2d and pull now if pull dot game object dot tag equals to equals to equals to obstacle then 
debug dot log game finished. Game finished. Uh, create UI button. I need a play again button there. I have made a button. Go to the text. Go to the text of the button and then write play again here. Now it's saving. I will adjust the position in the center of the page, center of the game. Now, firstly, I don't need a play again button displayed, so public game object play again. I made a game object and that game object will be hidden dot set active false this will hide the button and when the game is finished i need to display the play again button so play again dot set active true it will display the play again button when the game is finished or if the board will collide with the obstacle now when i click that button it must reload the scene so i have made a new function here play again button click function you can write name of the function anything i need a scene manager using Unity engine dot scene manager now scene manager dot load scene I need the name of the scene look here the name of the scene is yeah you must write the same name My name of the scene is sample scene. So sample scene semicolon. But this function is not called. This function must be called when I click the button. For that I must do something here. I need to make public here. Don't forget to do that. Now go to the button here. There is an on click event here. Click plus sign. And now which game object we have placed the code? We have placed the code in board. So select scene, then select board. Then we need the script body script and in body inside body script there is a function display uh, on click function 
So I have selected that. Put some mirror region and drag this game object here button and play the game. Look here. Now when this bot touches there, then play again will be displayed there. And when I click that, it will reload the scene. And again, look here. Now, I need some mechanism for getting the point. So, in between the obstacle, I will keep something to, de to detect it has crossed the obstacle. Just create empty game object. Empty game object now. I'll rename it as point. And the position of this must be in between the obstacle. Now I'll bring there. There's, this is empty game object, nothing is there, just the position is there and I will place a box collider 2D position resize the box collider here, here. Mm. and I don't need a collision with that so this trigger is clicked there now apply it when you edit something in prefab you must apply now add tag point I give on a point tag between a thing something that is inside that is in between the obstacle point now save it Then apply. Now I will use a on trigger function here, just like on collision. There is some difference between the on collision and on trigger since I have give one on trigger collider in between the obstacle so void on trigger into 2d pass the parameter collider 2d call then now if our game object is trigger with the point then we will get a score we will increase the score so if pull dot game object dot tag goes to point with a tag point then I'll introduce a new variable int score for storing the score and when the game starts the value of the score will always be 0 now if the board will collide with that point then score is equal to score plus 1 the value of score will be increased by 1 Now create UI. I want to display the text. Want to display the text. So create UI for displaying the score. The position is here. 
place it in an appropriate place. Increase the size of the text. Color. I'm making the color white. Bold also. Now, this bracket is over here, so I built that bracket. Now, I'll make a new text here. So, public text, it is not displayed. I must import something here using unity engine.ui. Simple now public text is called txt I must display the value also so is called text dot is called txt dot text equals to Score dot two string. The value of the score is in integer. I must convert it into string to display in the text box. So this saving. So some time is taken. Now go to the board and drag a text there for displaying the score. I'll play again now. Look here. When it crosses a point where I got, and when it touches, play again button will display there. But not only score as one, I need score equals to one. So at the start, I need the score displayed. So it could text the text is equal to. Score colon score dot two string. I'll do the same thing when my score is increased. Score I need a word score before my actual score. Now look here. It is taking time. Now look here. I'm playing the game here. Look at um, mm. now the board is still flapping there when the game is finished. Look here. Still flapping, and when I do, when I place the space, when the game is finished, we can also play this thing. I don't want that thing, so 
when the game is finished when the game is finished yet then time dot time scale is equal to zero it will pause my game objects everything will be paused inside there and when I reload the scene I don't need a pause there so time dot time scale equals to one now control s play the game some time is taken for saving yes now it has set now I can play it now look here I can play it again yes mm. everything is paused the body is not flapping now I can play play again thank you very much for looking my tutorial series through this channel I am going to make many video tutorial about making a game scene unity don't forget to subscribe our channel and like our videos for inspiring us. Thank you.